here we go again. This is going to be interesting. I say it every damn time, but it's because it is, and uh, a bit of a clusterfuck, I believe, because we have this shed over here. We're not doing anything until we get in the bee suits, all right, because the realtor, my buddy Ron, uh, worked with him before. He's a great guy. Uh, they chased him off, the bees, so yeah, we ain't yeah, no. We have permission to tear this place up. And these bees already chased off Ron, our buddy the realtor, and uh, so they're not good. And he has no idea what's in the shed. Oh, God. So here we go again. A big exploratory. So, you know, it's like being paid juvenile delinquents. You know, I've been saying that for years, of course. The flowers are just starting to come out, as in fruit trees. Um, all of my manzanitas in bloom. Uh, let's see, all the cottonwoods are in bloom. So here we go again. Springtime in the Rockies! I'm Wow. What? There's bees all over the place here, Reed. Everything is blooming, that's why I'm like, yeah. Yeah, but did you see them? Oh yeah, near your feet. <clears throat> don't pet me, please don't pet me. I'm working. All right, Hereford. Nasty bees in Hereford. Hereford in the house! What's this? Everybody got gloves and we're all... Somebody... Survey, first, right? Somebody stuck a sticker on the truck. Who fucking stuck that on the Look, truck? You didn't put that I'm there. not looking at... No. What the fuck? It's hilarious. It's hilarious, but... How about Cylindrical Uranus Society? I'm just saying! Now, as you can tell, you guys that know me, I'm gonna get my bee brain on. Because... Wow, they're nasty. There are no neighbors, per se, right? I mean... Oh, they're already buzzing around me. Do, do you actually... They're bouncing off of me. They're yeah, they're, they're... They're bouncing Yeah, put you? your thing over. Time for me to get my yes. net on. net it. And make sure you're zipped. Check each other, please. Uh, yeah, I gotta make sure. We gotta, we, you know, we gotta check each other for all Holes. this shit, because... <clears throat> if they're that oh, mean, Oh, it's right? already around me. No, they're on Trez. Okay. Oh joy! We still have to do a survey That's before I'm we tie so into these sweet. guys. God mm. damn it! I got a dead one in here. Oh, this Jesus scared the crap the out of me. Fuck. I had a dead one in here that was that one from the other day. Go on, get. Mm. Let's go see if this gate code works on the house. Just, the just don't say it out loud. <laughs> uh, Watch out for no. snakes. Yeah, they're on me already. Yeah. 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 We have no idea where. He said they're coming from this corner of the shed. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Where? Upper right. Upper. You're gonna hear me scream bloody fucking okay, murder. They're on me. I don't even see where they're coming from. Do you? I'm not seeing the airport entry yet. No. It's rattlesnake season. Their entrance could be via roof. Yeah, it could be. I mean, the door. Because this, I will tell you this. Oh my God. That's my <gasps> This is the roof. Wolf way. Part of it is. We can't get up there and look unless we can get up there and look. Oh, yeah. I mean, that'll hold you. Yeah. Well, they're not coming in and out from here. Okay. I think it's on the other side. Yeah, because I'm not getting a bug over here. Here, Tess. We'll need to get the bolt cutters for this shed. Here, coach. Right. Uh, because if they're hanging off the ceiling in there and just haven't come out yet. That's the thing about these Africanized bees. We, we can never second guess. Oh, I found them. You did? Yep, they're over here. Uh. Yeah, he was right. Uh, oh, oh, yep, yep, yep. That's a huge bunch of activity. They're underneath this little shed. Underneath the plastic one? Yep. Yeah. Huh. Look at them. Look at them. Is that active AF? Active AF. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god is right. This is going to be a go in the shed and see what the floor looks like deal. Yeah, it is. Oh, here we go, guys. Uh, we got to get all this out of here. We got to trim all this back. We should try to seal them up first. Yeah. Uh, a little expanding foam and okay. I'll sneak in there. Okay. He said they were bouncing off his head and his chest. Yeah, I believe it. And those are not warning shots, my friend. Those are missed shots. This is one vicious hive. Also, can you bring the bolt cutter? You know what? We're going to back the truck in. Screw it. I'm going to back the truck in, huh? Right. 
Can you just peel them up? Yeah. Already, already got Already on the cameras. How's it going? Here they come. And there's plenty of them. Trying to kill. Yeah, I think you can feel them in, actually. We'll oh, get, definitely. We'll then we'll definitely. The house. They're leaking venom. Oh, I believe it. Go to the left a little more, if there's a reason. Yeah. Go left, young man. Look at them attacking her. I mean, there, there could easily be 100,000 bees under there. You know, they haven't stopped laying larvae all winter, right? Right. There's been larvae being labeled now, Especially now, the queen is laying like 2,000 eggs a day, right? And they're hatching already, so it's a, it's a full nightmare. Except for us. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad we got the pulling back. Yeah. Medtech, I knew this one was going to be. So I got my hoodie on underneath this and then the cooling down from vest so I can stay cool. But it won't get stings in the ears. These are nasty bees. Yeah, they are. Anybody that says that, you know, we're, we're pissing these bees off and we, that's why they're blowing up. We didn't do anything. You're out of your damn mind. Yeah, it's didn't. not real. That whole way of thinking isn't real. All we did was walk up here. They're going berserk. They're stinging my gloves. It will get you killed. Like we're working honeybees the wrong way. I, I, I don't even know we what to say. We don't have people. comments on TikTok because TikTok oh. commenters are just... Yeah, I'm trying. You know, I think... Gobbly goo. I'm surprised that there's another hive here. Yeah, yeah. It's just getting louder. Yeah, I know. They are. They are spraying the adhesive. I don't. I, just I mean, I've got it all insane. sealed up, and they're just getting louder, and there's more of them. We should see if they're coming out of the front. Right. Yeah. Hey, Trent, do you see anything on the front? Um, I am not seeing anything. Oh, oh hang on, hang on. Uh, it's, there's so fucking many. Jesus. Yeah, there are. All right, I think we should get those bolt cutters. So that's what they talk about, the bolt cutters. You see it in the door right there? Yeah, there it is. Oh, they're coming out of this side. And guys, be careful for all this fucking chicken ass wire trip hazard shit. Um, oh, there's so much pollen on these babies. Let me see if I get this little one to show y'all. Oh, nope, she Can we get away. the bolt cutters? Uh... I, I don't see them coming out anywhere else. <laughs> yes, 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 Rain. I agree, I agree. This is vicious. We're in for a war. All right, so Hosh got the bolt lock. cutters now. We're going to snip the lock. And I'm going to try. I, because they're sealed up over there and they're still so angry, I, I can't see it. Holy shit. Now they will live right next to each other, so what we're trying Flatten to do is make sure there's not another hive in the shed. <laughs> shed of hell. Oh my gosh. Hey, you need some toilet paper? Oh, oh look at, we know, we look know at where all the toilet paper went through the uh, pandemic. Yeah. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Here we just, go. All right. So let's just do a house tour. Yep. I mean. Oh, look. All the movies you never wanted. <laughs> you mean the ones that we're not in? I mean. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, I Mother. I just like. And I'm going to knock down a. Fancy yeah. everywhere. This is a really, really old hive from the staining that I see here. The disk staining. Yeah. I mean, this is an old hive. Folks, if I missed your comments, sometimes as you can see it's moving around in the flare on the camera. So. What happened? I'm talking to the people. The people. Uh, the people. The people. The people. Oh my god, these motherfuckers want to stay. I'm so glad I wore extra layers. What am I looking? You're coming which way? Fuck. Oh, you're cutting. You're cutting the trees down. 
Okay. Well, these are, and we haven't even got to the hive yet. These bees are angry, yes. If you like angry bees, hit the like button. I <laughs> get it. Oh my goodness. There are bees trying to sting my face through the... Oh, these, they would, they would kill, these guys want to kill us. Or as I should say, these yatches. Their goal right now is to kill all three of us. I'm going to go open and Look at it stuck on the... <laughs> oh, right. Snakes. Snakes alive. Hate snakes. I can deal with the bees. I hate the snakes. Those of you wonder about the camera angles. Yeah, you tried getting through this shit. Ow! Oh, yeah, that's just hitting you in the face. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks. Mm, the pollen is just fabulous this time of year. Oh, <laughs> oh honey, let's move out to the desert. It's beautiful. We will be subduing these guys greatly because those are all sheds and shit over there. Someone was over there. I don't think the bees are going to go that far because they're concentrating on us. How's it going? We're going to have to cut up the floor of the shed. Oh, man, this is such a cluster. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Matty Joseph, and Sinead O'Connor. All right, here you go. Can you get over that? Yeah. Get over. It's the ones that you fling in my face that, you know, are so much fun. I, I know how much you enjoy it. I mean, even, I've seen them build, like, no, oh, we're near something. Right we're near something. A tree? Built right in the middle of the oleander. Oh. These are really poor. By the way, these will kill you. They're beautiful, but they're the most deadly flower in the world. And actually, just doing that was dangerous. Uh, no oh, nice there. cactus. You definitely should be in there to make sure there's nothing. Because they could be coming and going from the middle of the roof through an old fence. And like that job that we did down in Douglas where they were attacking from, uh, you know, singing people in a two mile radius. And we couldn't find them, couldn't find them, find them. They were going up through the roof end. What are you doing? I'm taking the guts off the phone. Oh, taking the guts. Well, who needs guard dogs? Jesus. You know what I'm already thinking about? Uh, ice cream. Yeah. Well, I think you sealed them up good, though. Yeah, well, they're, they're balling up. Oh, oh they're balling oh. up. Oh, my God, go look. Everybody loves to see balling up meat. Ah, here's the bees. Look under, look under the pool. Ooh. Good call. Where was that pool? My face is at you right now. I can't scratch. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Um. Because you're right. It's right at the oleander. Nope. Good call, though, MedTech. Good call. Mean says You guys need a bulldozer. No shit. A bulldozer, dump truck. And then I got a lot of guts on the phone right now. They're stinging the phone, so that's what you're hearing. Also going, we're going in. We're going in. I prefer the bees. Because <laughs> I know what might be in this house. Unfortunately, we're in. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, okay, nothing hangs. So you see rotten ceilings and shit like this? Yeah, I think about this a lot because, I mean, there could be a hive hanging down. We've seen it. You guys have seen it all with us. I guess I At least we don't have to shovel a path in this one. What about the... Oh, a plush what? jolly friend. Somebody like Bud Light. I can feel this thing moving as we're walking in it. Hey, at least it doesn't smell bad. Oh, oh. The bat. You know what? This is really nice. Actually. Master bedroom. Come on. Oh my god, this I is fucking show. gross. Oh, we've got a lot of oh. Bud Light around, man. Uh, yes, that has been noticed. Has been noticed. 
Everybody's yeah, noticing the butt light. Did we get into? Oh my god. This is almost like the hell house. This was not. someone's house, yes. This is what you call this is a like, hoarder's you know what house. This reminds me of the house in Tombstone with the needles on the floor. Folks, if you want to know what, sadly, what depression looks like in a physical form when you have reached an all time low. Yeah. And, there's and it's really left. sad. And I don't mean, I'm not trying to like diss that. I'm saying it's no, it just, just sad. Really we know. see so much sadness. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Deborah, that's basically what I'm doing. It actually breaks my heart. It actually, honestly, crazy enough, this does not smell as bad as some places. Uh, been. Well, it's been 10 years. But it's also been locked. Yeah, so 10 people years haven't come in here and pissed years. on the floor. Yeah, nobody's been camping in here. Yeah. Nobody's been... Or cleaning. Uh, oh, okay, obviously. obviously yeah. well, weirdness and weirdness. Let's go to the bees. It's safer. Yeah, at least the bees are nice. Yeah. Oh, I keep putting my pinky in front of that. I'm so sorry, Hoosh. I'm going to edit my pinky out. It's that whole well, tea drink of thing. Nightmare. Not, my God. As soon as we come over here. Please, Buzz. Yeah, as soon as we come over here. Uh, you might be right in the mix. What's the know that shit? Just. <laughs> Stock filing. He can't, he can't a lot of books, a lot of DVDs. A lot of DVDs? Yeah. Uh, we're getting close to where they are. Well, I mean, there was a sign assuming, today that not said it's not hoarding if it's books. The bees were opening a night school. Yeah. That's what Lee said. Nightmare. And they obviously, um, okay, so you all wanted to know what bees drink in the winter? Bud Light. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'll grab a handful. Yeah. A lot of DVBs. <laughs> That's a good one. Someone said a lot of DVBs. Oh my God. <laughs> DVBs. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. DVBs. Well, we're earning it today, that's for sure. Good lord. And then we have to cut it in the floor. Oh, Ooh, look, look. Look at that. Oh, oh there's bees. Them. There's bees coming in. Look at them. Yep, there they are. They're right there. And this is the plastic floor. So you get this uh, screw here. It is. So. See this big screw here? Um. Right there. I've never, I mean, these shuts. Uh, they go together like um, Legos. Oh, yeah, 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 I see. What see? kind of screws are they, Philip? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, who cares? We're gonna cut it up anyway. Let me get this out here. But that was well, here we have box 12 of 4,285 and a half. They're definitely... Look at that. Yeah, I can see it on your... Yeah, that could be where we were standing. Sorry, folks, I gotta... No. No, see in the floor? He's going to the floor, it's that's, turning yellow. That, well, that's right here, isn't it? Yeah. Right here. And then you can see them all... It's all here. Yeah. Now, one thing that I do uh, worry about is with those concrete blocks out there, I hope this whole thing is not concrete blocks under here. Oh, Debra. Remember that song in the 80s? Abra, Abra, Cadabra? Oh, that's like, very funny. Abra, oh, Abra, Cadabra. Uh, I'm gonna reach, reach out, out and grab, grab you. Oh, oh. Rick? I can't. If I lift up that way, the, it, it, it gets all weird. Oh, here. The flashlight. Here. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We want to have Hosh look at his hole. What in the heck is that? That's a piece of plastic. More plastic, right? It's rubber. I've never had to take one of these up, obviously. I mean, is that that's plastic under there? Plastic under plastic. It may be uh, plastic um, pallets. Oh, uh, shit. That's not cool. Hey, now. If we can get something Where? so we can get a, uh, oh. a saw. Oh, oh, no, that's oh, one. Oh, 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 oh. Wood. And anything on the br drill bit? Nope. Just give it, give it. Well, at least we know that we can, you know. Well, there's. What do you see? They're under there. They are? I just saw a movement. Whoa. 
Hmm. What was it Deborah that said? Yeah, box body number one, body number two for the boxes. Victim. Is there any? Uh, is there any comb on it? No. Nope. Bees in the hole. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Shit. Should we go over here, buddy? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's go over there. We'll start where we know they are. What is that? What in the hell? A body? No, there's some kind, there's something leaking. It's like fuel. Ew! Are we gonna blow up? It's like oil. You're kidding. We struck oil! oil. Oh god. We're rich! Look at that. Oh my god, it is weird. Alright, let's see. Oh, there that's very adorable. Is that honey? No, well, no. I don't think so. It doesn't, it like doesn't it. taste like it. Stick your nose in there. Sniff it. No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, drill one this way. Where? We, yeah, there you go. Try that. That was um. What more of the, the same, fuck? right? All right, I'm voting for two more holes about a foot back, and we take the sawzall and find out what the hell's going on around here. There you go. Oh, man. What the fuck? Gra right. It's grandma. Grandma. Well, look, they're coming out down here now. Out of, out of where? Okay. Here. Yeah. yeah. They got the memo. They got well, the memo. They, uh, they're like. And the light on them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, ready? I don't see them coming out of where, out of here. But they are definitely coming out of here. Right. Look at that. You see that trap? Yeah. yeah. There it is. Shit. Should we make four more? Okay, make three more holes and we'll cut two squares and see what's going on. You know, I'm gonna go small now. <coughs> yeah, yeah, because there's no reason. To, and we don't know where the floor goes up. <laughs> if there are any. This is weird, guys. Dude, this whole floor could be full. They are pouring out of there. Yeah, they're pouring out. I think you were right with the thermal out here on this one, but you know what helps, Tris? Uh, where's the sawzall? Uh, oh, oh, at my is. feet. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do these four. I don't do, do these big four. machinery. <laughs> well, let's wheel the floor. Oh, my. What the hell's going on around here? What the fuck is know. that? I do not know what's leaking down there, but I don't like it. I don't like it either. You? Is that a dead body? Oh my god, seriously. Is it? I don't know. Oh my god. Stinks. Oh my god, it stinks. I have no idea. Like, what the, what the fuck? fuck? Look at that. It's dripping. Something like in from where? I think we have to look in the other shed. We do. Because there's no pipes under there, no. there's no nada. I'm going to get um, these three. Yeah, these guys, these little guys. It might be the old owner. I mean, I don't know what the fuck that, that is over there. That is some weird ass shit. And here we get like. If you wanted to know what the gate of hell looks like, it's a really small hole. Look in there. Do you want the flashlight? Look at that. Like, what the fuck? They are attacking the shit out of me right now. And this hole over here, Hoosh, is like insane right now. Coming out? Yeah, look at it. Right. So, this is a big... Maybe the hive's over here and that... They went through... Well, I think it is. The water is what attracted them. I don't know whatever I that is. Water. Rotting corpse. If these guys are bouncing, you want to see what they're doing there. All over the gloves. Crap. Oh. Yeah, crap is right. Look at that motherfucking right. action. You just need a fucking hole. That's it. 
But my hands are vibrating from the distance. Man, we're in something here. Right? Damn, I think the blues are fucked up that room in the field. Look at them pouring out. Yeah, so they're, they're like they're insane. Cool. I changed, I changed the bit. Uh, I'm going to get on this train.
I'll tell you, this construction really, <coughs> how do you say? It sucks, we're at the end. We're going the end post. Okay. Hey, host, host is gone. Host is gone. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Look at these tubs are working good for this, Don. Oh, yeah. fabulous. Don, Well, they packed pack it up nicely. You want it? Empty, no. A little bit in there. Honey? You want it for Viking? Yeah. It's so light. I mean, there's yeah. no... Yeah, All right, well, we hit the end of the road here, so that's good. We're at the end on this side. No, of course, I know it goes on this side. No, they're all over. They're, like, interspersed. In fact, I can see there's more up there. Okay? Where's the light? Oh, no, you just put, right it, you put it yeah. I'm, I'm helpful, I know. Well, under, between the two, see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like there. Um, here. Uh, yep, I see it. There's comb in there. There's comb in there. There's comb in there. Oh man, what a nightmare! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, just, I just got stung inside Again. my boot. Inside your boot? Ah. Those are new. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Travis, I'm gonna get on the other side of you. Alright. Let's do-si-do. This is a nightmare. I mean, they're over the initial part of this thing hits, but now I'm like, woo! <laughs> we gotta get it all out of it. <laughs> <laughs> this? Thank you. It's <laughs> starting to calm down a little bit. Here we go, guys. Good for my They get you again? Yeah. Fuckers. Well, this thing is good suit, uh, even though we have a lot of clothes on and shit. Wow. Look at this is some shit in there. Oh, it's some shit. Alright, how far does it go? I keep going. Oh my god. Oh, now we're in the heat. Now we're in the heat. The but then there's another one two sections over. Look at all this, Hosh. Fuck! Holy shit. I'm not surprised with this many bees. Brood. Don't call me. You're so brood. <laughs> oh, I'd be talking to Trez if I was. Oh, lovely. It goes this way. Oh, awesome. Brood. Yeah. Wow, look at all this brood. My chicken. We'd like to thank the person who initially put in this shed. Don't let anyone drink Bud Light that I should. I can't believe all the brood you're getting. I can't believe how far back in the other way. No! Oh! Mother. Fuckers. Damn it. You wow, you know, Ron, if you're watching. Holy shit. Drone. Lots of Wow. Look, look at that. that. Look at that, Ruth. Your chickens are eating, man. Yeah, I guess so. Your chickens are eating. We're kind destroying this hive. Okay. Yeah, I think we should relocate them. Right? To somebody that really wants them. Yeah. Are you sure it was uh, Bud Light and not Moonshine? Oh, good. Fallen. Here. They can't even do it. I mean, they're sure shaped nice. That's that's uh that's honey too. Oh, Look yeah. at that, they're like waffles. Yeah. Honey, waffles. Let go my pollen. head. Though. A lot of you know, pollen. if it was the seed or the Kellogg's, I'd give them the one with all brood in it. Pollen. Damn, these things are vicious. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Not you. God damn it, get out of there. Oh, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, there's some ball in there. I'm keeping it for Viking. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, what a cluster block, you little bastard. I'm keeping it. Yes, a lot of damn it thing, Glenn. Ah! Wait, look at how far back it goes in. Look at that. Jeez. Look at that. Yeah. Damn, what a nightmare, guys. Well, Colin. I'm getting a lot of damn yeah, me too. My back. On your back? Yeah. Through the vest. Yeah. Through the cooling vest. Through the vest? Yeah. It's out of control. That's really out of control. Out of I'm, control. I'm loving wearing a hoodie. So, for those of you who are new to the channel, <laughs> these are killer bees, and we are killer bee exterminators. These are awesome. Killer bees were created in a Brazilian laboratory in 1957 when they crossbred African queen bees with European drones. The bees escaped, they took over South America, Central America, and they hit the U.S. in the early 90s. By 1998, 100% of the feral unmanaged honeybee hives 
in the state of Arizona had become Africanized, a.k.a. killer bees. Killer bees are bad news. You can see how aggressive they are. They kill people, they kill livestock, they kill pets, and they're an existential threat to our native pollinators. You're trying to kill me. We, uh, we never relocate. We always exterminate. We kill every single hive we find, and you are witnessing us destroying a killer bee hive. Welcome to Killer Bee Guy. And That's see what all it, I have to say. See what it does to Wahosh when he gets stung? See that, how that... He, he's vibrating like, yes. like they do. Yes, I'm vibrating. And everybody say hi to Ron. Ron? Is he on? He's on. Hey, oh, right Ron. on. Hey, buddy. Ron. <laughs> Holy shit, buddy. I'm so glad you live because this is absolutely ridiculous. So it goes that way. I can see their cum going in this way. Uh, yeah, this is... This is not a I reached back as hard as I could and under here. These blocks are just placed randomly. I just threw a bunch of blocks down. Oh my god, I don't even understand it myself, but they are vicious. They're fucking mean. Yeah. All right, yeah, so more kind of we knew they we're, would be when we were coming up. A lot of propolis here. Definitely decimating them. Mm -hmm. uh, where do I drill? Right there. Two. Yeah. I'm going to try to... Because it goes in here too, and this has got to be exposed. Well, they're coming out over here. Oh, Jesus. I, this whole thing is full back here. I'm pretty convinced hey, of it. Okay. We are knocking their numbers down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They are a worthy opponent. Sell the whole yard. See, this is so random, I don't even know what I'm cutting into here. Oh, it's so rotten. Holy shit. Okay, Trash, more shit. I'm, this here, up and I'm more. here for the shit, Reed. I'm here for the shit. In other words, she's here for me. You are the shit. We live in so. the desert, and if we set a fire, that <coughs> lovely kitty pool that you see to the right would just melt. Okay, you know? oh, now I can, you know what I can do? I can cut this out. Now I can oh, see. yeah, there's a bridge. Cut the that? bridge. Fuck the bridge. That's where the, that's where the corpses melt. Oh, um, I need another, need another battery. Okay. I guess I can switch this. Yeah, switch it out. All right. But we'll Melody. need one anyway. Yeah. I found more, I found a bridge where I can get out. Yeah. We'll see you later. <coughs> okay, this battery needs to be charged. Yep. Damn. Take care, Mel. We'll see I you later. I wonder if this is an indicator of our season. Let's hope so. <laughs> People. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, well, I wonder what we got here. More fucking foam. This really stinks under here. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, it's a corpse. It's Something's not, dead. Rotten water. It's not a corpse. Rotten water, no. Now I know what a corpse smells like, unfortunately. Stories. I can tell you all sorts of stories. And unfortunately, they're all true. Uh, let me see here. What I'm doing. Uh, I think I can go this way. Man, what a zoo. I think I'm getting a feel for how this piece of shit is. Oh my god. How many pools did this person? There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to do a double take on all this for our tools. Yeah. I'm kind of burying them here. I don't yep. want to. Don't bury the tools. Bury the tools. Oh no, it's in my head. Uh, how far back? Uh, World's another brick right there. Puzzle. Okay, well I got a parameter. Deadliest I got a jigsaw puzzle. Oh man. Okay. Oh wait, or was that one of the bosses? I kind of hope. We, we don't know yet. I'm getting uh, the idea, Hosh. Yeah. 90s kids. Only took an hour to get the construction on this bullshit. Yeah, inside the mind of whoever built it. No, don't go there. Come on. Dude. You think the bees were bad? Ah! Come on. Oh my. Yeah, from your what? Oh my. Hey, that's the end of that. Okay, we're on the end there. It's here. Huh. They're back in here. Huh? They're back in here. God damn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is rotten, rotten, rotten. Yeah. Rotten, throw it away. Yep. Throw it away. Throw it away. Uh, <laughs> Everybody's crying on this job. Okay, that's all the further they go there and there. And now we're going the other way. Throw it away. Ow. I think I'm getting a lot of damage soon. Yeah, me too. Uh, okay. We're decimating them though. 
hell are these little fuckers? Man, the romance around honeybees has got to stop. I wonder how many people will have to die. All right, now which way am no, I going? No, no, we did get something. Now which way am I going? So they're coming out over here, right? Chickens and shit. Okay, I'm thinking the width of my sense of humor. Okay, this looks good, so I can go along here. Oh, I'm getting the idea here, guys. Ow! Oh! oh, damn! Your glove. Your glove. I gotta start wearing the tight ones, apparently, for jobs like this. Oh, God, here we go, guys. At least I'm getting the hang of where the hell they are. Right? They're getting quieter. Yeah, yeah they are getting quieter. I just quieter. heard that. They were like, fuck, you found us. Yep, and there's actual comb there. Yeah. Well, you know, I prefer nice wood floor sheds. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh. Look at that. I'm bringing this stuff back to the truck. Uh, uh, do do you need like that pry bar? And you might. Might. Okay. Might. Uh, got another fucking brick there. Going that way, Chris. Okay, hang on. So there's, uh, Let me in. I'm going. Oh, which fucking Man, way am I going? Oh, I hope there's a brick under me. <laughs> oh, you. Smoke only works with the trez. Why well, it's getting quieter? Ouch! Oh, fucker! You, uh, can you? Can you? You're making me nervous. All right. With that fucking glove. All right. You're... Another blade. Okay. All right. Boy, we're getting another wave here. I'm gonna have to get back on the spray. All right. Just blow one up again. Okay, yeah. I'll get you a blade. Right. Man, man, honeymoon's over. All right, look at that. That's a solid round chunk of honey. What in the hell? It's a honey ball. I don't get it. That's a honey ball. Don't call me that in public. There's old honey from years ago. See, you know, I told, I said when we first started, the only way we're getting honey out of this is uh, if yes, it's a really can. old hive. Well, guess what? God damn it. What's wrong? Oh, it goes this way too. Well, yep. Man, what, this is really something, I'll tell you. Yeah. This is really something. Thank you. Ah, uh, the drill. Oh, you need it? Okay. Yep. Oh, you're going that way. Now I'm going this way too. Which way? Man, this is a real, this is a serious question. Fuck everybody. That you're not hydrated, Reed. Oh, yeah, okay. Your nation is worried. Hmm. Goodness gracious, great balls of honey. <laughs> that is from the I'm not sure what emerald that. cider. Oh, yeah. clogs. I see honey under your Come on. Under your crotch. Two cups and I'll go hydrate, I promise. Okay, Hoach, you can lift these up yep. and dig up some. Oh. I'm gonna go hydrate. Those two can get pulled up and then he's doing the construction on that pole. Oh, okay. Man, what's that? Folks, he's going to hydrate. You're welcome. We're getting like here. Yeah, I saw it. You can see. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think anyone here really drinks tequila. I wonder if it's in a margarita. No, I don't. I don't do shots really anymore. Drink. Yeah, I'll have a cocktail and I do like beer, but like, I don't even like not even every day. It's like I used to. 
We will, Jeannie. I stay very still. I don't, I'm not exasperating the energy that these folks are. Well, did you bring enough for the broom, MedTech? The groom. The groom. The room. But, you know, room, room, same thing. One has a ring. Ooh, I do like sweet tea. Sweet tea is good. So tea makes me pee a lot. I like Mexicos. I don't know if y'all have those where you are. We have what we call Mexicos here. Wow. More brood. Oh, dang. This is just a shit show. Well, it just keeps going. It's like a maze under here. It's amazing. It's amazing. What? Oh, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Honey, that's beautiful. Look at that. Ooh. I can hear him in the truck with the AC, so he's cooling himself off. Yeah, he's cooling his jets. He's cooling his jets. Poor honey. Oh, that's dripping. Yeah. It's a maniac, maniac for sure. And we got the bees underneath the floor. Huh. Well, that's a good song. I, w I was taking that from someone's uh, cue. That's a good song. I just put it. Absolutely bad. Yes. Yes, the liquid. I, Deborah, that's, I love it. I love it. It's, it's, um, it's yummy. Mex Mexicooks are yummy. I love Mexicooks. You get them out here a lot. I used to get them in Salem Master when I would be Salem Master. How many people are with us? Um, 94 on the, um, the YouTube. How many on TikTok? Uh, 573 and going up. Wow, it really goes back. But it was like, oh, back. I mean, I can see, like, actually, like, if you were to reach between your legs, but you can't really because there's a brick kind of, there's two bricks. Yeah. But they built between the two bricks. Well, that's what all of this is. Oh, my God. Please tell her so we really miss, oh, I didn't see that, I'm sorry. What is it? Uh, they asked a question, but the way I'm holding the cameras right now, I can't scroll down. Yeah. Wow. Let's see. I'm in a weird spot. Oof. Yeah, there's more going that way. This job what a does maze. involve contortion. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the same flash memes. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. These bees are happy. Don't worry, they're not happy no. Wow. Okay. That's it for there. That's it for there. Here, we've got more going this way. Okay. Look at them. Well, they're getting a lot quieter. I probably knocked down about 20,000 right out there. But the best stat was in it, so I'll make sure now that on your vertical, I'm focusing. Right. Hopefully the bees heard me and gave some good shot. This might be the last of it. 
Oh, don't you try to sting me, bitch. What? Yes. Okay, cutting knife? Uh, I don't remember him using one. Yeah, Reed's been using a putty knife. Yes, no. How's it going? Have you been using a putty knife? No, I didn't, I didn't even look for one. So that would be a no. Do we need it? Uh, yeah, I brought one back. I mean, it's all dry here. Oh. Well, we're going to just be undercoating the shit out of this. Yeah. I think we're getting to the end. I think we are. I think. The fuck! No! Yeah. Fuck! Or, is, I don't know, but it's over here. God, this is like Legend of Zelda with killing these. Legend of what? Oh. Legend of Zelda. Oh, no, and that's the uh. difference between you and I, Reed. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years. And I don't know yeah. what it is, but I know of it. Uh, but I don't know what it is, Trash <laughs> Jesus. Christ. And that's the that's difference hilarious. between me and you guys. I don't know what it is. I've heard of it, but no. It's something with the thing and the kids and the videos well, and the... Where are we going? What I want to do actually is cut it here and over there and pull this whole thing oh, off. Well, get rid of that anyway. Well, it's underneath the wall. Yeah, it's, no, they oh, said it's Legend of Zelby. Let me see. Is there any way to... There's more under where you stand. Oh, no, let me just way drill one hole and get it out. Right? So, yeah. Oh, see, uh, I, I was never a, a gamer. Actually, got that, but I'm going to do the same thing I did here. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So have you got the uh sawzall? Yep. Boy, we're going through some blazing shit here. Right, let me see. We're gonna call this one the amazing killer bees. Oh, is that what we're gonna call it? We want to. We want to read, can we? Can we read? <laughs> can we read? <laughs> It's like sitting on the washing machine. I mean, if you watch Goose, you know. Here we go. All right, hold on. Here we go. 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 It goes on and on. It goes on and on. It's a fucking ass. I bet you there's even thing. shit under this right here. I bet you. That's a brick. You can see. Look. Oh, you already lifted it. Yeah, okay, I bet you there's not anything <laughs> under there. Oh, here's the potty knife. The potty knife? The potty knife? The potty, potty mouth? Yes. All right, so there's a brick here and there's more comb here. Do you, uh... Oh, it's on spin cycle. Man, I, I'm quite impressed with this, this cluster. I've seen some convoluted shit, but this is really kind of taking the old paper room. Yeah, right? Uh, all right, well, I'll cut it. One more deal. Jesus, this is just... I'm so impressed. Uh, I thought you were impressed. I am totally impressed. I'm, I'm not. Which is it? I'm getting mixed signals. I can't work with this indecisiveness. Huh. Whatever. <laughs> huh. Yeah, we build up some tools, I'll tell you. Right? Huh? Right, buddy? Oh, they do. Name of my porn star set. Dull tools. Dull tools. <laughs> That's his website. Actually, That's the other site. You know the other site that Reed's always talking about? Yeah. Dull tools. Dull tools. Yeah. Dull tools. Dull tools. Dull tools. Dull the best way to be proficient the, is to not have one. All right, this is just unbelievable. No, um, yeah. put it no, on I mean, a solid. Yeah. You see how white is on it? See how white? Yeah. It's all new. White yes, is new, dark is old. That's correct. We'll leave it at that. Yep. Can we just take All right, here we go. It is, Gregory. Oh, God. Now. I'm just building my appetite now. Worst stone movies you've ever seen. All right, well, it's undercoating time, Hosh. Yes. It's undercoating time. It's undercoating time. Oh. A couple of bees in time. It's undercoating time. Oh, my God. That's all I got. That's so. it. Oh my gosh. Well, all right. 
I can't wait to cook this. I'll bet you can't. Oh, I thought you were going to say you can't wait for lunch. I'm like, no, no shit. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also eager for lunch. Are you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I can smell? What? Cheeseburgers. What? Yes. 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 I was thinking about that <laughs> sweet little uh, place out there in Palominas. Uh, oh. They're open. You know the one. Yeah, but yeah. they're not, probably not they open. They have live music. They might not be. Um... We just got ice cream fund, so that um, that's almost a ten dollar shake right there, baby. Uh, okay, cool. We gotta make sure we get everything. <laughs> bail out, Trez. Ice cream <laughs> funds can also be used as bail money. Yes. You know where it is. That's why I can't pass a background check. What am I looking for? You didn't say my job was to pay attention. Hey, what? What? Don't complain, Trez. It does no good. I complain all the time. It's my job. It says it in the contract. Okay. Ah, wait. Ah, 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 ah. Let's make sure all our comb is covered. Yes, it is. I'm going to go lock this door. Oh, these bitches. Hey, uh, Given the convoluted nature of all this. Oh, oh my God. One is still trying to kill me right now. It's caught between. Let's go over here. Ready? Set and be Yes, ice cream money is also Bella Tres money. Bees are cool in the sun. Bees in the sun. If you would like to save them here and make yourself. some. They don't like me going to the So when you want to go anger, there you go. I'm caged in! <laughs> ah. Oh, we still got to do the other shed. Oh, go in the other shed. Well, actually, I just kind of touched the outside ones. <laughs> you did the breath test? No, I took the phones and rubbed them. Stand, man! It probably is. Where's Queen Waldo? Um, I didn't see the red. What color does Waldo wear? Red and white? What kind of what? Waldo. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. I love having the elastic band on this. On my torture chamber for bees. I mean, on the camera. I have like bees buzzing in my ear. Huh. There's no 
ceiling. I don't want to stay in here. Okay, try to climb over. All of these bees flying around. Um, and this is pretty much for everyone, actually. These are called remnant bees because they're leftovers of the hive. They cannot live without the rest of the hive. The bees that are flying around, Ron, are going to die off. Uh, it'll probably take, with it being spring and not freezing at all at, at night now, it might take a week, actually. But if anybody comes out here in the next few days, keep your eyes open. That's all. There's no way to control all of these bees flying around, period. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just... 5,000 of them flying around all over the damn place. The ones that are over there, the remnant bees that are bowling up, we're going to knock them down, of course. They won't be anything to deal with. So the remnant bees are like an amputated limb, though. Okay, you can, if your finger gets chopped off, you can live without your finger. But your finger can't crawl away and live without you. Your finger cannot crawl over to Trez and latch on to Trez and, and you'd probably get slapped. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You can't crawl anywhere and join onto another body, so they're not going to go join another hive. They cannot crawl away. Your finger can't crawl away and make a new human. Just like these bees cannot go start another hive. Period. We don't care about the queen. She's collateral damage. It's the same analogy. She's the heart of the matter. If your heart is outside your body, your heart's going to die. Can't live without it. If your heart is outside your body with one arm, your heart's going to die. Can't live without it, and so is your arm. Same analogy. Take it as far as you want. And so these bees will die off. It's over, is what I'm getting at, Ron. It's... And it may be at the neighbor's house. Oh, fuck, I'm stuck. This is the thing if your neighbor's got bees, you've got bees. So there could be another hive over at the neighbors that's going to become problematic eventually. Yes, the government wants to ban TikTok and let them. That's how I feel at this point. We don't make money on TikTok. We make money on YouTube. TikTok's just like silliness. It's a hoshu's shining person. It is. That is hostage. Hosh, I can't speak. Hey, she's yeah. ah, motherfucking hole. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yard sale. Oh my god, my nose is running. That's dangerous. Look at that lovely floor. Yeah. <laughs> well, you tell me when. I don't know, he went in the truck. Here's the thing, because there's been some stuff coming up recently, comments and stuff, about spray adhesive, you know, and like, oh, it's not cutting at all this. So what, what, we're playing the long game with these guys. Should you use spray adhesive against, you know, a swarm, an angry swarm of killer bees, you know, when you don't have a suit on? <laughs> no. They'll kill you before you empty the can. We're playing the long game here. So in the immediacy, it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but slowly, slowly, throughout the course of the removal, as needed, in this case it is, we're knocking down more and more and more. And it's just glue, like it's, it's non-toxic spray glue. I mean, it's the shit you used to eat when you were in kindergarten. It doesn't matter. It's not bad for the environment in any significant way. Its impact is negligible. Ah! And it does over, over throughout the duration of the job, it slowly, you'll notice, right? They're quieter now. Now part of that is they're in defeat mode, but the second part is we've, we've killed most of them using this. So, it doesn't take five minutes, it doesn't take ten minutes. We're talking about putting this stuff on these guys throughout the course of half an hour, an hour. And slowly, 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 the, the cloud diminishes. And that's the game. We want to get rid of the cloud. So by the time we go, so just because you tune in to a short and you see a spray in this in the middle of the fray, it's fine. No, it's not going to yield immediate results. We don't need to yield immediate results. It's a battle, and over the course of an hour or two, whatever it takes,
weeks we win. And that's the way it goes. So, anyway, that's my two cents about that. The other thing, people, is don't weigh in on something you don't know anything about. It's not necessary. Definitely there's been a lot of uh, conversation recently, not uh, online and also, uh, you know, in in real life. Oh, you know, you're talking shit about honeybees, you're killing honeybees. Honeybees are invasive to the Western Hemisphere. Honeybees don't matter outside of big agricultural interests. In fact, they're deleterious to the environment because they're not native to this area. So they... they they, uh, they hurt the native pollinators. They take their food, they take their pollen, they take nectar that would otherwise belong to native pollinators. There are 4,000 species of native bees in North America alone. 4,000 honeybees, one species, Apis mellifera. These crossbreed Apis mellifera scolitata, something like that. Uh, Apis mellifera. These, these bees are not good for ecosystems, contrary to what a lot of people think. And they weren't here before the colonists brought them here. Of course, these are not those bees. Your grandfather's honeybees, the colonists brought here. These honeybees were created in a Brazilian laboratory. They're a hybrid. And they're not, they're not, they're not good. They're not good for places. So, you know, it's part of an ongoing thing where since the age of exploration, it's like somebody took the world and shook it like a snow globe. And now we've got plants here that don't belong here. We've got bugs here that don't belong here. And it's just, uh, you know, I don't know if you want to say that's part of progress. But at the end of the day, we need to care about our native plants. Because honestly, there's not a lot left of them. Or our, our native pollinators. So, boy, well, you know what? about satisfied with this. I think we're ready to go. Watch out, there's a fence there. Anyway, note that there is a difference between farming and what it takes for farming versus ecosystems. Farming is often bad for ecosystems and farming practices are bad. Now we've all got to eat. And without farming, what are we going to do? So European honeybees prop up big agriculture. However, both European honeybees and big agriculture are, they have a deleterious effect on ecosystems. What we're looking for is biodiversity. Biodiversity is healthy. So that's the key. We don't want one thing everywhere. It's really bad news. You, unless it's reed. You want a variety of insects, variety of native plants, a variety of native pollinators. And that's what really yields a robust, healthy ecosystem. So, do, you, do you have anything to say about these kind of sheds and this kind of construction? No, I have nothing to say about this shed or this construction. It, uh... It, it was a, uh, yeah, I have nothing to say about that. But what I would say is that if you're a realtor and you're trying to sell a piece of property in Cochise County, good luck if you've got bees. And, and when I say bees, I'm talking about honeybees. And in that case, I'm talking about Africanized honeybees because that's all we've got here. So if you're a realtor trying to move a piece of property in Cochise County and you got bees and they, they attack you or they don't, give us a call take care of it. If you're anywhere else in the U.S., understand that honeybee Africanization is on the rise all over the lower 48 states. You can't trust honeybees anymore. Never relocate. It's an invasive species, and in this case, a deadly invasive species. Always exterminate. We'll see you guys on the next job. Fucker.
It's smut. Well, yes, dear? It's, it's smut. <laughs> the word you're looking for is smut. I can't get out! I'm caged! Yes. Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're back at the scene of the crime. The criminy. That's what we're back at the scene of here. Um, we have remnant bees. A prime perfect example, actually, of the convoluted shed from Helsinki. So, you know how we always talk about they aren't going to go anywhere else? Well, they're not. Now, Hosh doesn't even have a suit on. And I have my net ready to flip up and over. But see them down there right there? Those are all alive. Those are remnant bees. Those are bees that are left over from the hive. So that door is so closed and sealed. Now they're sniffing around a little bit. They can smell the venom on the camera. And so they are waiting to die because they are like the amputated limb that I keep talking about. Right, Killer Bee Nation? You getting some good shots of that, Hosh? Yeah. Good, because you ain't got no suit on. <laughs> So yeah. again, don't try this at home, of course. There's and another uh, another ball another inside. Another ball inside. So because of the doors, we had to take the doors off of this thing. There's another ball inside. But this is a really classic example of remnant bees. Remnant. We rarely get to show you guys remnant bees. So these are remnants of the hive that was there. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah. What are the hell are they doing up there? Look at them all. Yeah. So, so you know, everybody that's like, oh, they're escaping, they're escaping, stop them. No, this is what they do. Right, correct. They actually that's look exactly. dead. They kind of do, don't I they? I don't know if they are. No, nah, they're moving. They're moving. Yeah. They're cold. Yeah. It, was, it froze up at the ranch again this morning. And we also, these bees you see flying around here, these are bee robber bees. Right. So those are remnants. So people always say, oh... You know, they're going to go and start a new hive. No, they're this, not. This is what they do. They don't this start a new they hive. Do. They come back here and they, uh, they, they don't know anywhere else to go. They can't go join another hive. They can't start their own hive. All right, Killer Bee Nation? That ball outside, they came back to their front door. This ball inside, we're left over from underneath here. From when we cut up this whole convoluted damn shed. And they didn't know enough to go out to their old front door, and they're so confused about it. They're like an amputated limb. And so those ball of bees that you can see in here, those were in here, and they just kind of got together and went, what the, who are those handsome people? What happened there? And they will die off. Now, since we're here, they're going to die off a hell of a lot quicker. Yeah, we're going to kill the rest of them. Yeah, I'm going to... Eh. Uh, and so... They are like individual cells of an organism, and so there's enough cells there of that beehive, of that organism, to be like a amputated limb, both inside and outside. And so they would die off over the coming days anyway. Well, of course, since we're here, and we're meeting the realtor for other reasons, um, we're going to kill them so that they can come in and clean this place up, get it ready to sell. It's a nice acreage down here in Hereford, beautiful actually, and you know, the views of course, as you know, Cochise County, right? So all these bees you see farting around down here are robber bees. Those are coming from neighboring hives, and they are uh, looking for something to steal, but there's hardly anything left in here except for drops because we took it all out, which is why we do it. So there again, there you are, Rob, those are remnants. So I'm going to get the Fendona, whoa. So if you want to tell these guys a little bit about it, I'm going to get the Fendona and put the kibosh on them. Yeah, so so again, you know, the, 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 the saying that, you know, oh, they're going to escape, oh, get them all. No, they fly around, they attack us, and then once we've taken all the comb and we leave, this is what they do. They ball up, and they hold each other, and they starve out. Um... And, uh, well, there is the queen. The fact that the queen is not with us, probably she's dead. Um, but also their food's gone. So this is really how we destroy a hive when we're getting the honey and we're not using poison. Now, he's going to bring some in just to finish these things off. But there's just not a lot going on here. Um, 
No brood, no ability to make a new queen, no food, no direction. Exactly. That's exactly right, Green County. Yeah, that's what's going on here. So, again, we just, we wanted to, we were coming back here. We've got a few things to do here with the owner that are not necessarily beehive related. And uh, we just wanted to show you guys, you know, the aftermath of that removal the other day. Because this is, now these ones are a little more active. Well, sun shining on them. Right. You know? So, um, if you guys want to watch, I'm just going to get in there. So, Reed's got some uh, pyrethrum here. Got the fendona. And, uh, you know, as for read your labels, damn it, everybody. But this is a really good example, a rare one for Hosh and I. Uh, Tres is at home, I guess. And anyway, the good, good time for us to show you actual remnant bees. They're just talking about this shit. So, remnant bees, there they are, right there in front of us. God and everybody, maybe a thousand of them. They don't go anywhere else, they don't go to another hive, and they cannot create their own hive. So, here we go. Says, according to label, uh, damn it, I gotta shake it up first. Direct directly at the hive. Come on. There we go. So, this is a pyrethrin, and so it'll kill off those bees, you see. Okay, get my another squirt to soak it in good. There we go. Working great. So this is uh, the pesticide that's made from chrysanthemum flowers. These guys were doomed anyway, and who gives a shit they're Africanized honey? They're in a deadly invasive species. How many times do I got to say this shit? Obviously a lot. So, um, working really well. Now we're going to go inside, knock them down, and then see uh, it's over. I mean, this is what we do. And I just love this, Killer Bee Nation. I love this. Being able to tell everyone, and show everyone, what we talk about every single time. Every single removal. You hear me talking about it. Remnant bees, they can't do this, they can't do that, blah, blah, blah. And everybody still has all these questions about it, which is understandable. Because, you know, you see all these thousands of bees flying around us, and we leave, and leave them here. So what the hell is going to happen? It's a good question. I mean, it's a viable one. Are they going to go over there? Are they going to go over there? What are they going to do? That's what they're going to do. This is perfect. This is so rare that we get to do this. All right, Hosh? Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we don't usually come back. No, we don't because we, and this is the point, we don't usually come back unless it's like a month later or six months later because we guarantee it for two years and a new hive has moved in. The initial hive is dead. We, that's 99.999% of the time with us. And if the hole isn't sealed or if a trees are a pain in the ass, as you know, they'll crack and settle. New hole or a woodpecker pokes a hole or something. New hole uh, and new swarm moves in. Well, then i got to come back because it's location specific. It's for that location only, not for the whole damn property. So this is a prime example. Really good educational thing for everybody to see. Remnant bees in action in a lack of action so be, and it's a lot colder in here inside the shed so now oh boy they're all up and down here mm -hmm. all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and put these guys well they're almost they're cold yeah they're, they're they're on the way out anyway but make it safe for the realtor and everybody else in here we're gonna put the kibosh on yeah and that'll do it that'll do it what, you want to wear it? You want that? You like that? I don't know. I'm debating. I mean, I think it's a good look for you. I think it's a good look for my hand. I don't know about that. 